Minister Ananda Sangri, thank you for joining us today. We know the Prime Minister was with you in Cape Breton today for an important announcement. What was that announcement about? Well, we basically had two announcements. One um, is the um, MIGMA education agreement, sectoral agreement. Um, essentially, we are we've concluded the, the discussions. Uh, it uh, works out to about 125 million dollars over five years. Uh, additional investment of 16 million dollars a year. So it's a significant um, investment into the future. As you know, the uh, MIGMA sectoral agreement has been one of the most successful uh, educational initiatives we we've, we've had uh, because of. Some self-determination because it enables the MIGMA to control the education system. The outcomes uh, are far superior than even the provincial averages. So it is a very important uh, reaffirmation of our commitment towards uh, sectoral agreements as well as uh, ensuring that future generations uh, are able to uh, to enjoy the benefits of a, of a fine education system that the MIGMA have created here. Why are ministers such as yourself visiting Indigenous communities across Canada on this particular Indigenous Peoples Day? Well, I try to visit as many times during the year as I can. Uh, this is a very particularly important day for us. Uh, we have uh, the Prime Minister here as well as the local members of Parliament, uh, uh, Jaime Baptiste and Mike Calway. Uh, it is a, it is basically to confirm that and affirm that uh, this is the most relation, most important relationship that we have as a government. Um, and it is a relationship that requires constant attention um, and work. And a day like this, uh, we have a lot to celebrate. So uh, that's why we're here. Uh, and next week, we'll be all across British Columbia celebrating uh, more agreements that we have uh, with different First Nations uh, across British Columbia. We got about 30 seconds left. What do you think all Canadians should take away from National Indigenous Peoples Day? Well, uh, amongst other things, I mean, Canadians have a, a, a deep uh, obligation to learn uh, Canada's history, which is uh, really Indigenous history, and to talk and learn about uh, the impacts of colonialism, but also to learn about the rich traditions, the language, cultures, uh, and the enormous contributions Indigenous people made to the world, uh, ind Indigenous medicine, Indigenous ways of thinking, um, science. Uh, those are critical uh, parts to, to the world that we live in, and Indigenous knowledge is so critical uh, for us to better understand how this world works. Minister Ananda Sangari, thank you again for chatting with us. Thank you. Have a good day.